So dear friends and subscribers, uh, once again your host Ram is back with the final preview of the ICC Champions Trophy teams and this will be the last show uh, for today. So let's have a look. So now we are going to look at three teams which are balanced with Australia, Sri Lanka and South Africa. We will first go to South Africa and the reason being that they are the number one ICC um, ODI ranking team right now. And uh, South Africa, let's have a look at the South African uh, record. Uh, the South Africa, uh, well, uh, they have, yes, they have definitely uh, won uh, the tournament. They have won it in the ICC knockout trophy uh, in the year 1998 uh, in Bangladesh. So they have definitely won it once. So have, that is good. So there's one, uh, one, one for them in the bag. As you know, normally... Uh, the South Africans are chokers, as we all know, and uh, the South African squad uh, is ranked uh, number one, which is good. And they have to definitely live up to that billing, uh, and I'm sure they will. And ABD Villiers is a captain who has already said that his main goal now is to get to the 2019 World Cup, which has eluded them so far, and uh, you know he wants to make sure. But uh, looking at the way things have been going, I mean, after looking at two, with England actually winning that ODI series yesterday, uh, uh, South Africans uh, really they don't seem to be really on the move. And uh, that is what precisely uh, that ABD Villiers and his team uh, would be liking to do uh, and show to it that why they are ranked uh, number one in ICC ODI rankings. And ABD Villiers himself, uh, a very good captain, and also, uh, more than that, a very, very uh, dashing player, ABD Villiers, and uh, he is always, always a thorn to any opposition. Hashim Imamla is another one uh, who is like a, like a Kane Williamson mold, but also Hashim Imamla is another one who can, he, he has the classic stuff with him, but with this classic stuff, uh, he can really hurt the opposition with the bat. Uh, and then he's also closing on a record uh, where if he gets 7,000 runs, I think he needs 47 runs to reach 7,000 runs. So uh, he would have beaten the Indian captain Virat Kohli to that. So he would, uh, he would, he's, it, that is something that definitely which is going to happen for Hashim Amla. Uh, Farhan Behardin is another good player. Quinton de Kock. Uh, He's another very, very successful ODI player. He has a lot of centuries. I think he has 12 ODI centuries. He missed the 13th ODI the other day, ODI ton. And uh, he's another very, very uh, good opening bat uh, who forms a very awesome combination with Hashim Amla at the top as far as ODIs are concerned for South Africa. Has been providing them some very, very good starts. Jean-Paul Dominic brings his experience into the picture. Uh, with his uh, very utility type batting and bowling as an all-rounder. Duplessis, another very experienced customer, as we all know about him. Uh, Imran Tyr and, and you know, Duplessis would definitely uh, like to uh, really put his foot down because there's also a hint of him actually probably even retiring. Uh, probably the year, I'm, I'm not really sure whether it's 2018 or before, but he has already hinted at one. Uh, Imran Tahir, another uh, real big draw card for South Africa. But one has to wait and see how he actually shapes up on English pitches. Uh, that would be a real question for Imran Tahir. But I'm sure uh, we all know uh, what's the greatness of Imran Tahir as a bowler. And uh, of late one has seen that he can do the containing job also pretty well. Keshav Maharaj is an upcoming left-arm spinner uh, for, um, for South Africa. And not only that, he also packs a punch when he bats. He can really whiff the ball. So that could also be... A sort of a real bonus factor. Uh, David Miller, one already knows there's no introduction uh, is needed for David Miller uh, who can really take the game away from you uh, pretty quickly. Monet Markel, who has good knowledge of the English conditions there. Uh, Chris Moore is another very, very good all-rounder, a solid all-rounder, I could say, a genuine all-rounder, Chris Morris. Uh, both bat and ball is something with which he will do definitely do something. Parnell uh, is coming back after a long layoff, one could say, uh, but uh, he can also bat a bit. Uh, Andy Falcava is another uh, promising all-rounder in the making, uh, slowly trying to find his uh, steps uh, into, the, uh, into the squad. 
uh, and uh, he is also another one on whom uh, they can really rely on uh, with the low in the lower uh, middle order where he can really whack the ball and is also a useful uh, medium pace bowler. Uh, Dwayne Pretorius, another good all rounder, who's, uh, who's just started uh, his international stint uh, and is and is showing a lot of uh, promise as well. Kagisho Rabada uh, would be the go go to man for South Africa, no doubt about it. He would be the man uh, who would be spearheading the pace department in the absence of uh, Dale Shane, and so far he has already proved his worth. Uh, and he has already shown that he belongs to that big category. And Kagi Sarabada is uh, another one uh, who is, who is another, uh, another one who would be loving to ball on this English pitches, I reckon. So all in all, it should be, but uh, one really feels that one man that South Africa would be missing to me is one on Philander, another all-rounder who is out due to injury. Uh, pro he probably would have been an automatic inclusion in the team, probably would have come in the place of Farhan Behadrin, but... Um, Ferran Baradin has probably got the nod because of uh, Vernon Flander. And the reason I say about that is Vernon Flander is such a bowler. His bowling is ideally suited to English conditions. And um, uh, Dale Steen is already not there, so they're already crippled. But even Vernon Flander not being there uh, can hurt them the most because he's another one, I think, is seriously suited uh, to bowling in English conditions. Well, nevertheless, that's what South Africa is. So South Africa has to live up to their number one ICC ODI ranking so they are they would be under a bit of pressure as well uh, and they would be gunning for their second champions trophy now let's have a look at Australia now Australia have something unique as far as champions trophy are concerned they are the only team uh, uh, in the in the uh, among the eight teams uh, that have actually uh, got uh, uh, a victory in the champions trophy twice so that means that uh, the Australians have been the most successful team as far as champions trophies are concerned. So that's a real uh, a sort of a, a big uh, feather on the cap, no doubt about it. Uh, but it's all about, uh, now. right now they're ranked second in ICC ODI rankings and they would be hoping uh, that they can really, really uh, do something uh, that really suits their second ODI ranking and also their two victories in the champions trophy. Stephen Smith is the captain of the reading the side and uh, he's a wonderful bloke, uh, a very good uh, player, team player who actually rallies his team well. David Warner is the vice captain. Now, David Warner, there's a very important thing uh, which has come up. I'm told uh, in England, he has not been very successful and that is what he's going to aim for. So David Warner is someone who would be looking to score lots of runs and uh, he's, he's a sort of a, a real... Uh, uh, sort of a real threat to the opposition, no doubt about it, especially at the top of the order when you can he can hit a lot of runs. And I would also say that Australia have an explosive opening combination. Uh, if it really clicks, it's David Warner and Finch. Uh, I, I think it would be mayhem because both are very aggressive players and uh, there could be real mayhem uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the center. Uh, Pat Cummins uh, is a very improved baller. Let me tell you about Pat Cummins. Pat Cummins uh, from Australia is a very, very improved bowler. Uh, I mean, uh, one was probably thinking that once uh, once one was seeing that Pat Cummins uh, was not able to get control on his pace. But now Pat Cummins is a different bowler altogether. Uh, I mean, one can't, I mean, it's not only about the pace. Uh, he changes his pace uh, pretty quickly. Uh, and also he has got lots of variations. And uh, the good thing about Pat Cummins that one has seen that he has also proved very economical as well. So uh, that is something that the opposition would be keenly noting. Uh, and then they have Josh Hazelwood, uh, who, is, uh, who will form a very good combination for Pat Cummins uh, with the new Cherry. Uh, and Josh Hazelwood is someone uh, who would be expected to do uh, make some real noises uh, here in English conditions, which would really suit him the most. Uh, John Hastings would also love the English conditions, no doubt about it. And he's also a good bat as well. Uh, Travis said is a very very improved uh, player now and he has already uh, you know slowly surely uh, cemented his spot in the uh, in the in the o o Aussie team and he can also you can also expect him to open because he's another one who can uh, really get some quick runs at the top of the order uh, Travis said he's also uh, a very good uh, right arm off break bowler useful right arm off break bowler Moises Enriquez is the other all rounder uh, and I think Australia have been uh, blessed with lots of all-rounders and uh, that will also play uh, a, a very great role in this ICC Champions Trophy. 
Uh, my wife's only get right arm fast medium bowler also a very good right hand bat and let's uh, let's all uh, watch out for Chris Lynn now Chris Lynn uh, is someone who's absolute dynamite at the top of the order and if he's going to open the innings uh, whether it is going to be a sort of a conundrum uh, as to whether to send Aaron Finch and David Vaughan as openers or Chris Lynn uh, could open the innings so they have lots of options with to play for I would say and uh, Chris Lynn uh, is another one who really hits the ball. Uh, I mean, uh, if he hits the ball, it stays hit. And they are uh, quite big hits, I could say. Uh, powerful hit of the ball. Glenn Maxwell requires no introduction. Uh, he's someone who is always, always tailor-made for ODI cricket with his brand of play. And also a very, very nice right-arm off-break bowler. Uh, the bowling, uh, James Patterson is coming back um, after quite a long time. So it would be interesting to see how he goes. Uh, Mitchell Stark uh, was um, was also there, so the the Aussie pace attack to me is looking pretty sharp. Mitchell Stark, Pat Cummins, uh, and Josh Hazelwood and James Patterson to chip in, and then they have Matthew Wade, the wicket keeper batsman, uh, Marcus Stoinis, who did that amazing job uh, against uh, I reckon it was against uh, New Zealand. I reckon so. Marcus Stoinis is someone is also uh, a good all rounder in the making. Uh, and Adam Zampa is a right arm leg spinner who is also uh, could be uh, uh, could play a very good hand uh, for Australia in this ICC Champions Trophy. So all in all, Australia um, having won, as I said, they are the only team which has won the ICC Champions Trophy twice. They would like to live up to their billing uh, and please all their cricket fans all over the world. So well, that is as far as the Australian preview is concerned. Now I'm coming to the final preview in this ICC Champions Trophy 2017 and that is going to be the Lankans, the Sri Lanka. Let's have a look at the Sri Lankan uh, ranking right now. The Sri Lankan uh, ranking, I have, I'm afraid to say that uh, they have dropped, uh, uh, they, 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 are, uh, they are actually below Bangladesh. Uh, so definitely that is not good news for Sri Lanka. And, uh, and Sri Lankans uh, will be, uh, and let's also look at the at what they have achieved in the ICC Champions Trophy thus far. Uh, well, Sri Lanka, uh, I don't see Sri Lanka's name figuring at all. So, Sri Lanka would be, uh, uh, you know, at, at this point of time, uh, probably one does not give a lot of chances for Sri Lanka uh, because of their existing number seven ODI ranking, as well as uh, they have never uh, won the ICC. In fact, in fact, I, I have to eat my words here. Uh, there was a time uh, in the year 2002 uh, when India and Australia, India and Sri Lanka actually shared the Champions Trophy. Uh, that happened in the year 2002 and that happened in Sri Lanka. So uh, sorry about it, folks. So uh, Sri Lanka has definitely won the ICC Champion. It was a shared one. And, and so does, that also means that, uh, you know, India and Australia have won the ICC Champion. But India probably, uh, they were declared joint winners. So, but Australia have... Uh, uh, won the trophy uh, twice on their own so so that uh, really uh, is something they won it back to back as you know 2006 and 2009 so definitely uh, Australia are the ones on the top I would say but ICC uh, India actually shared the uh, trophy because of rain I, I reckon uh, so that is as far as so, so let's have a look at the Sri Lankan team uh, the Sri Lankan team um, uh, well, if you look at the team there, Angelo Matthews is coming back after the injury. He's leading the, leading the team and uh, one has to really wait and watch. Uh, one did not uh, really see uh, that that injury really caused much uh, trouble uh, in that warm-up match that he played, Angelo Matthews. So Angelo Matthews, uh, well, if, if he's a fit Angelo Matthews, uh, I think uh, it is something that the opposition would view very seriously. Uh, he's a wonderful captain, uh, he's a very good right-hand bat, uh, he's a good all-rounder and he's also a very good and uh, Angelo Matthews I think would do a, um, uh, would be doing a lot with the ball. I think uh, he will be uh, bowling a lot in this English conditions because he's another one uh, I think uh, would, uh, this English conditions uh, would really suit his uh, style of bowling. Uh, Upal Taranga is the vice captain, Upal Taranga is slowly uh, even though he's 32 years of age, uh, but uh, he is he is becoming uh, he is sort of uh, being be becoming a, a really a real part of the Sri Lankan team here, uh, and he's a good experienced uh, player as well. Uh, Dinesh Chandimal, uh, another um, a very good player, 
uh, no doubt about it. He's also the wicket keeper of the team as well. And uh, he's another one who is, uh, who is already, I would say, has really become a bit experienced now. Uh, but it's all about delivering the goods. Uh, Niroshan Dikwala. Uh, let's talk about Niroshan Dikwala. Niroshan Dikwala, uh, to me, uh, is an unorthodox opening batsman. Uh, he comes at the top of the order. Uh, he, he, uh, I mean, he's someone uh, who plays uh, really in an unorthodox fashion. Uh, and that can really, uh, you know, put the mm, opposition ballers uh, into a real sort of uh, real spin. Uh, because uh, he might hit the ball somewhere and the ball might fly somewhere. I mean, he, he has that uh, sort of ramp shot as well. Uh, he has some good strokes as well. So uh, it will be interesting to see Nirishan Dikwala. Um, and I would like to see Nirishan Dikwala playing at the top of the order instead of he coming in the lower middle order because I think uh, that, that would really mean because, you know, he can get some uh, quick runs for Sri Lanka. Uh, uh, Asela Gunaratne, let's watch out for Asela Gunaratne. Uh, who is the very, very upcoming talent. He showed his uh, wares in the uh, T20 tournament against Australia, where uh, he, he pulled Australia, the Lankans not only out of the woods, but in fact took them to victory. So Asiel Aguna Ratne uh, uh, is someone uh, who's, who would be a sort of a real player to watch in this ICC Champions Trophy, and he would be hoping uh, to contribute a lot to for Sri Lanka. Uh, and then Chamara Kapigadra, who provides the bit of solidity uh, to the Sri Lankan uh, middle order. Uh, Nuan Pradeep, uh, a very good uh, uh, bowler, uh, has a bit of pace as well. Uh, Nuan Kulashekra, the experienced bloke. Uh, well, the, the bowling will be in the hands of uh, Lasit Malinga, uh, a very, very experienced player. Uh, and, and probably, uh, I, I think it would be even safe to say that Lasit Malinga probably is playing one of the uh, last major tournaments of his uh, career because he's 33 years of age and as a fast bowler, uh, I think, uh, you know, if uh, to, to, to really um, uh, see Lasit, I would love to see Lasit Malinga, but uh, to really see Lasit Malinga in the year 2019 in the World Cup, I think it's a very far-fetched sight right now uh, for fans, I would say. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Malinga will bring all those experience to the fore, no doubt about it. And then... Uh, he would be partnered uh, by Nuan Kulushekara, very, very experienced, a very good ODI bowler. Uh, and also, uh, he's a good pinch hitter as well. So, uh, you know, he could also come in uh, and play a very good, uh, play a, a nice cameo uh, for Sri Lanka. Um, Suranga Lakmal, a much, much improved bowler uh, who really hits the, uh, uh, hits the deck very hard. And also, uh, he's another one, I think, uh, um, uh, who would be... Uh, really reveling uh, in English uh, conditions um, uh, for sure. And uh, let's not forget Kushal Mendes, such a talented bloke. Uh, I'm sure a lot of teams have not uh, watched this bloke back. Uh, he's, he's almost uh, uh, on the heels of a Kumar Sangakara uh, who has retired. And Kushal, and definitely Sri Lankans are building, there's no doubt about it. They are rebuilding after um, Sangakara and Jay Vardhane, uh, um, Oster. And Kushal Mendes is someone. Uh, who can really play some uh, very, very wonderful strokes and uh, is a real talent. And, and I think he's a man to watch in this uh, ICC Champions Trophy. Uh, Kushal Pereira is a big dasher, uh, likes to get some quick runs at the top of the order, really likes to go hard on the ball. Uh, Tisra Pereira, uh, an experienced all-rounder. Sekuge Prasanna uh, is a very, very handy man to have uh, in the uh, lower middle order. Uh, because uh, you know he, this man uh, can really put, um, uh, put you can use his bat like a real rapier uh, against the bowlers and uh, he can really really demoralize the bowlers uh, with his very very um, uh, I would say uh, very robust hitting that he does uh, and he generates a lot of powers uh, power through his uh, very very broad shoulders that he has Sekuge Prasanna also a good uh, leg break bowler as well and then uh, they have a surprise packet in uh, Lakshan Sandakan, a very rare breed in uh, uh, in India in, in international cricket. I would say Lakshan Sandakan, uh, who is the Chinaman bowler uh, who did very well against Australia on his uh, on his uh, initial uh, um, debut against Australia. Uh, and Lakshan Sandakan uh, would be another bowler uh, who uh, who many of the teams would have probably not played him, probably playing him for the first time. Uh, and Sandakan uh, would, uh, could really prove uh, something here in this ICC Champions Trophy. 
So all in all, uh, Sri Lanka all, also looking good. Uh, but as I said, they are in the rebuilding phase. So one probably uh, would not be giving a lot of chances and also considering that they are number seven uh, ranked uh, uh, team uh, as far as ICC ODI rankings are concerned. Uh, it would not be uh, really wise to make any guesses here. Uh, but Sri Lanka could well spring, uh, spring a surprise in the Champions Trophy. Well, dear fans, friends, subscribers, uh, that brings an end uh, to all the previews uh, of the teams of the, in the ICC Champions Trophy. So let's wait for the ICC Champions Trophy. The countdown has already begun. We have three more days to tick, out, tick away. And that's it. And then the curtain will... Uh, the curtain will be unfolded on the ICC Champions Trophy 2017, which is going to be played in England. And this will be a non-stop cricket entertainment for 18 days uh, uh, from June 1st to June 18th. Well, dear fans, we all hope that uh, we really get some uh, real wholesome excitement in this Champions Trophy. And yes, uh, definitely, uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm always with you, dear fans, subscribers. So tomorrow I'll be back with you. Uh, in my next uh, cricket show that will be tomorrow on the ICC. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, these previews of the teams in the Champions Trophy. Look forward to your company tomorrow. Until then, this is your host Ram, finally signing off. Thank you.